Hi guys, I hope you're going to enjoy today's tutorial. This is how to make a teddy bear pouch with a zipper in it. It took me quite a few tries to figure this out, but I did and I wanted to make it super easy for you guys and gals so you can make it yourself. And the pattern will be available on my Etsy shop. So let's get started. Okay, so as, okay, I have the ears sort of cut out. I'm getting ready to work on those a little bit more. I got the face piece, the mouth area here cut out. And let's see. So remember when I said you want to kind of cut from the paper pattern kind of wide? Because then when you cut it with the cloth, with whatever fabric you're using, you can hit right on that line. So you'll get the exact, the correct size. And then you don't want to cut the dotted line off, but just right at it. And this side too. So, okay. That's that. That's the ears and the face. Okay. So in this, I have... Um, four layers of fabric, which, because remember, I'm cutting on the fold. Just ignore what I'm doing right here. Okay, because I'm cutting on the fold. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this out. This is kind of easy peasy to cut. I probably should, I know, I know I should have scooted it down on this end a little bit more. And then just going to cut all the way around. Just take your time and just make sure it's nice and even. Oops. Okay. No, no. No oops. Not a bad oops. It's going to be okay. So, it should cut all the way to there. And then we're going to cut this little end piece in here. And we're going to cut right here. Okay. Yep. Some little straggler threads. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So now I take the pattern off. <laughs> okay. So that's the body of the bag. So you want to open it up and now you see the shape that you have. You've got a little indentation here and a little indentation here so one of the first things we're gonna do sorry is you have to find the middle of the bag you need to know where this piece is because remember so, if you cut on the fold, great. If you didn't, then just make sure you uh, cut that in half. Not cut it in half, but uh, mark a line there. So, these are, make sure I got the right sides. Yep, okay. So, that is going to be one right there and one right there. Oh, let me take this apart. Because you are quilting, and I probably, I might go back and do this. Okay, anyway. So, you're going to be putting your little bear friend's face right at this edge. So, by the time you fold that up. Oops. Okay, so that's going to go there. Yeah, I'm sorry. You once you know where this you know where your middle fold line is, and then you have this line right here, and that is where you want to line up your bear's face. So why did okay that side of the fabric will have to do it. Okay, and then you've got another uh one because you're gonna do one on the back. Remember, this is the outer piece of the fabric, so just so you can line it up. Did I cut crooked? No. Okay. That's fine. So, you're 
you're going to line the other piece there. Now you can, you want to center this. And if you want to be real exacting about centering it, then fold this piece in half. And you're, you're kind of going to need to do this anyway in order to put the zipper in. So just make a little mark right here. So you know where the center is. So, okay. And that's, take care of that. So you know that this, you want to line this up with the center. Oh, what happened to the other piece? And want to line it up there as well. Try to make these as even, even though it's going to be opposite sides of the bag it doesn't really matter so what you're probably going to want to do and I'll just set that here what you're probably going to want to do is go ahead oh i'm sorry you got to make the ears so when you do your ears you're going to have like two of each so you want to put Put that there, put that there, because that was that ear on that side. Make sure you line them up in the right spot, and then you're going to have two more here. Now, I'm just showing you the placement of these, but what you're going to have to do is sew them down. Wait, I had some somewhere. I had some little ears before. Okay. Lost my ears. Okay. So, we're getting there. So let's stop for now. Because we've got to go back and fix the ears. But we know where that's going to go. Now, you can actually go ahead and pin that down so it will stay in place. You can get yourself a ruler or a tape measure and make sure you're the same distance. One inch, one inch, one inch, one inch on both sides. That's good. Now, I'm going to go stitch all around these and then turn them inside out and iron them. So, yeah, these are all our ears. So, I'm going to go sew those. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got four ears. And what you do with the ears, you obviously, you, well, obviously, you want to stitch all the way around. And then just going to flip it inside out. Smooth it out with your fingers. And then you want to iron them. If you can't iron them, I'm sure it'll be fine. So, remember now, the ears are not identical. So, it's up to you if you want to make them, um, if you want to make sure you put the same ones there. So, anyway, we'll put one ear there, and one ear there, and one ear there, and one ear there. Because... You want to stitch them down. And you can be real exacting if you want. And you can just measure exactly where you're going to put them. And that'll be fine. Because you want to stitch them in place. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. You can fill them up with a little bit of stuffing if you want them to kind of stick up. And I think I am going to do that uh, on the next one. So, here, just going to pin this down so it'll hold in place out when I sew it. Did that even, that didn't even go all the way through. Oh, my bad. Don't pin it on that side. You got to pin it down this way. So then it'll flip up. Sort of. We're going to pause for a minute, and we'll be right back, but we're halfway home. Okay, so here we are. We're back with the teddy bear uh, pouch. So, I wanted you to see how far I'd gotten. So, what I did here, I sewed on, hand sewed the buttons for eyes, and those will be his little teddy bear ears. 
yeah, they're not exactly centered. They're not perfect. But once again, remember, this is a handmade product. If you want perfect, that's something you got to go to the store and get. But for handmade, you got to do it yourself. Um, I hope you can see this part that I went back with the sewing machine and did a little zigzag stitch to get the mouth down. And to kind of give the, the bag a little stability, I put some... Um, what do you call it? Uh, batting, B-A-T-T-I-N-G, uh, like quilt batting, because this is sort of quilted. Um, I've done a little bit of quilting. I was going to do some more quilt stitches, but I just decided to go ahead and finish this one up. So now I have the inside of the bag, and yes, I, I'm using the same fabric for the inside of the bag lining, which is okay. So I'm gonna just line all this up and make sure they're all even. So, okay. So now you can see that's all. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. My messy, messy craft table, sorry. Okay, I cheated a bit. I just drew on the mouth part with a Sharpie. This project is very creative. You can really expand upon it any way you want. So I just wanted to keep it simple to show you the basics. Um, so that's what we're doing. Now, uh, you need to get you some bias tape. There's all kinds, but obviously you want to perhaps get a color that matches. Uh, you're going to need bias tape, the double wide, which can fold over and you're going to need a, a zipper but we're going to start with the bias tape so what you want to do with the bias tape let me zoom in now with the bias tape you want to tack it down to the edge and you're just going to tack and pin because you want it to go all the way around. Okay, because once you do this, then we'll be getting it together to put our zipper on. So, there's that. So, yeah, just pin it down. So, you've kind of got it sandwiched. You've got the back. You've got the front. You've got this all together now. And you're going to need uh, probably your ironing, your iron uh, set up so that you can uh, fold this seam binding over once you get it done. Let me zoom back out. I think I zoomed in a little too much. Okay. So, let me get that one. And I am working on upgrading the studio, so... The lighting will be better. And I got to get a different stand for my camera. Because this is a challenge. It works, but it's a challenge. Okay, so we're going to get that on there. And you want to make sure your edges line up. And we're going to get this one. Okay. So that's all you need for that side. And then you're gonna go and do the other side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off right there. So, okay. So there's that side with the seam binding all the way around. So let me go stitch that down, fold it over, stitch the other side and we'll do the opposite side of the pouch also. Okay.